Utah not to take Parker, Ginobili, and Dunker with them. Tony Parker's absolutely fine with that. I just trust Pop, and I trust uh, Pop's judgment, and the way he managed our minutes, and the way he managed uh, like uh, our bodies to make sure we stay fresh uh, for the playoffs. So I just, I just trust him. So I don't even really think about it. So that's why when I saw all those big stories, you know, I thought I was laughing because it's not the first time he did that. He basically said it's up to him. I, but there is, I think, a meritocracy. I mean, you know, Coach Pop gives ear to, to the guys he's won championships with, but uh, these guys have implicit trust in, in Coach. You earn respect in this organization. Parker on cue with the jumper. He's got eight in the game. He also said, look for it to happen again. Maybe not the same way, but in some shape or form. Coming up. Duncan another rebound out for Tony. He's got six in the game off the glass. Duncan does. Fade away, no. Channing Fly, the rebound. Been a long time since we saw Steve Nash on the floor. Ronnie Price just in the game. Quick hands, Leonard, and that's what he does best. Kawhi, and the bucket. He knew he was going to get fouled somehow, some way. He finished as well. Two years at San Diego State, he filled a stat sheet. You can see the strength to take that kind of contact and still score it. What a compliment, though, by Pop to say. Kind of, we sort of envisioned him as a Bruce Bowen type. Uh, obviously, Bruce was a guy who had so many of the better offensive players in those championship years that he had to guard. And his jersey's been retired here this year, as a matter of fact. Bruce Bowen. Shannon Brown. Kicks it out. That's a three. Nope. Blair, good work in the lane, and yet another point in the paint. Been able to operate that way all night long. 28 to 14, they doubled up Phoenix in terms of points in the paint. Shannon Brown. Good little read, that was set to be a flex cut, but he saw the defender cheating and he just gets right to the elbow, pretty. At a career high, 32 Shannon Brown did in the second matchup earlier this season between these two teams. This the third of four meetings. Spurs have won both of them already. If you're Phoenix, you just keep playing. The NBA, you just keep playing. You hope, yeah, they get a couple of jumpers to start falling. And human nature, you're San Antonio, do you relax and pop? Hey, that man doesn't relax, no. I'll tell you that much. Foot was on the line for Shannon Brown, so that was a deuce. And, and you know what's coming. I gotta do the third quarter interview. He can't wait to see you over there, Pop. <laughs> Parker, he loves you. Blair. Leonard gives him another chance. That's a walking violation and a double dribble. Take your pick. Call either one. 5834 just blocks away, a few miles away from the Alamo. This Tuesday, a bomb just blew up the room. We still have a chance to clean this up, but we have to do it together. Nice jets. Where do you see the car? Just stays in their position. So Tony Parker, ball gets reversed. Manu, the extra pass, Kawhi Leonard in the corner. On the dribble drive by Splitter. Again, Neil tries to get into the paint. Paint touch leads to transition. Everybody just stays spaced. They understand where the passes and the shot should come from. Five of nine beyond the arc for the Spurs and Phoenix. 0 for six so far. Ronnie Price. Lob to Gortat. Nice catch just to handle that. You can't finish though. Here come the Suns. Price. Opportunity to play, which he hadn't had a lot of lately. Gortat. Can't buy a thing. <laughs> 
Blair, the spin, Gortat blocks it. Starts the break. He just, he's so undersized. Really difficult for him to score against that kind of length. And Gortat, very good defender. Lost it out of bounds. It'll stay at this end. And Popovich will send in Matt Bonner. So Blair to the bench. And I mentioned it a moment ago, Nash hadn't been in since those opening, what, almost six minutes. He's been resting. Now you're down this much trying to get back in the game, and I'm sure we'll see him again if they do. Gortat gets the roll. Well, you just wondered if that's what he's thinking. Listen, if we make a push and get close right. enough, otherwise I'm going to rest him because we've still got games that we need to win. And until you think this is winnable, Flying at the end. How about that pass? And how about 60 points with just about a minute to go in the half? Great offense, but defense non existent from the Sun so far. Dudley leaves it for Gortat off the glass. Another nice move once he made the catch. Averaging 16 points and almost 10 rebounds per game. He leads him in points and boards. Duncan. It's the only thing that could stop Tim Duncan tonight. Yeah. The backboard. I'm surprised he didn't use a dribble there. Because he had a smaller guy on him. Well, Tots missed a couple of easy ones. Parker right by Price to the hoop and in. 12 in the game for Tony Parker. In his 11th year now, all with the Spurs, which does make you shake your head, doesn't it? It's only 29. 11 years. <laughs> Try to, don't lump me in with that old crowd. <laughs> he said, I'm guilty by association <laughs> with Manu and Tim. Good hot. Shot clock violation, four seconds on the game clock. So the halftime report coming up. Just a few moments. Stuart Scott in the studio, Bruce Bowen as well. CP3 dominating the Warriors. Heat Knicks preview as well. 4.9, they say, now left in the second. Step away, come back in a moment. You do a lot of kayaking? No. Whoa, I'm in a river. What are some good kayaking words? Like rapids. Look, I'm going through the rapids. Okay, I'll take it. New offers in new places so you can try new things. Sync your American Express card with Facebook, Foursquare, and Twitter to find savings. That's the membership effect of American Express. 4.9 seconds until the Toyota Halftime Show. Coming up next, Steve Nash still with a warm-up on, which has been there for most of the half. Not for Duncan, though. He's been huge tonight. Been tremendous. And you see CP3. I think when you, we touched on this before, the two guys that keep their dribble, Tony Parker and Steve Nash. I'd say Chris Paul in traffic yeah, with right the there. ball. Pretty yeah. good, yeah. Clippers right behind the Lakers out west. After Oklahoma City and San Antonio in the top two. Honored to inbound. Here comes Duncan. Plenty of time to get a good shot off here. Hesitates. Tries to go by Gortat. And pretty good defense for Marchin. So that'll do it. And what a first half. They scored 72 and a half earlier this year, but they'll take 62. Tim Duncan 